So today's been kind of crazy. I was woken up from a, with a phone call from Good Samaritan Hospital, um, the registration department. Um, they had talked to me about my deductible, which I have high deductible insurance, happens to be $6,000. Um, initially she just called and, and asked me if I wanted to, um, make a payment towards that. And so, you know, of course I want to start taking care of it as soon as possible, but all along in this process, I had been told that I would be able to make a payment plan on my deductible. And that was kind of what I had been counting on. So I wasn't exactly in in a position to be prepared to pay the full six thousand dollars up front i mean to be real honest if i had thought that that was going to be the case i probably would not have been um pursuing this situation because that's kind of a lot of money um so i said asked them you know did i need to set up a payment plan and she said that she would get me over to the financial services so that I could do that. So the first woman that I spoke with said that I would not need to do that until after surgery and that I would not be required to make any payments prior to surgery until, as we were speaking further, she finally asked me what procedure I was having. So when I told her that I was having the Ruin Y gastric bypass, she said, oh no, actually you'll be required to make your full payment up front. So I kind of went into a state of panic. Um, she said that she would have the person who handles that um, call me. So for about an hour and a half, I was in a total state of panic because um, I'm on day 10 of the strict diet and I have been through a six month process and of course, you know, with a date and all of this in mind and my heart really set to this. Um, it was a huge disappointment to hear them say something like that because I thought this was going to end up being a roadblock. Um, I think that there would have still been a possibility that I could have um, had the surgery. Had I needed to come up with the $6,000, it would have been a stretch. I'm sure that is understandable to everyone watching this, unless, of course, I have some extremely loaded friends who are watching this, in which case, um, feel free to donate. No, I'm not. I don't want donations. I'm just kidding. Um, but anyways, I waited for that hour and a half, and actually, um, I just want to say that I definitely feel like I have an an most amazing father. I really do. And he has done so much for me and he is so amazing and so many people in this community love him and look up to him and he is a good man and he is a Christian and just I couldn't speak highly enough about him. However, Today, he tr did truly hurt my feelings, and um, it was very emotional because we don't necessarily see eye to eye in this process. Um, I don't know if it's because he's a man or if it's because he's old school or because he just doesn't have this problem, but he just kind of thinks that there are easy solutions and that um, I just need to eat less and exercise more and it's all gonna be fine and um, I think that at this age at 42 years old um, I think I've it isn't that I don't think that that's not necessarily the case because I do understand that if you eat less and exercise more you will lose weight I understand that um, I have lost 90 pounds to this day without any surgery, without any assistance, no diet supplements, no magic pills, no weight loss plans, no Weight Watchers, Nutrisystem, nothing, you name it, I did it. I did it the old-fashioned, eat less, move more, and that's how I've done it. So I understand that that's how this works. However, I'm also... I don't even know. I don't know what the what the deal is. I don't know if it's a genetic thing or if it's whatever, but I have fought this my entire life and anybody who has known me knows that. And 
this has been a struggle and I need the surgery. This is what I need to change my life. And I really was having a really hard time with the thought that that was going to not be the case. However, I did receive that phone call back from the hospital from that person who works in these accounts. And um, I do not have to pay the full 6000 up front. I actually don't have to pay a penny up front. She said that they will arrange a um, payment plan for me after I receive the bill and after um, I have had surgery. So surgery is still a go. It will still be on Tuesday. And um, actually, I also received a second bit of pretty good news. Um, they... I spoke with a dietitian. The dietitian called me today, and I actually do not have to stop the other stuff. With I just on, the only change in these last five days, I had to replace the muscle milk with the protein or yeah, with the impact shakes that they gave me at the hospital. So I'm actually still allowed to have my half cup of fruit and my half can of soup at lunch and my um, salad at dinner. So um, still kind of hard, but thank God I don't have to just drink 24 ounces of impact shake and eight cups of fluid a day because um, I haven't had anything yet today besides the one impact shake. I'm getting ready to have my half a cup of fruit and second impact shake and half a can of soup here in a moment. Um, and let me just tell you, I don't know that I was going to be strong enough for these five days because it's been rough. Um, I've had an emotional day. I look like crap, as you can see. Um, <clears throat> I have a terrible headache. I don't know if it's because I haven't had caffeine in five days or you know, in 10 days or if it's because I am hungry or if it's just because I've been on an emotional roller coaster, but my head is pounding. Um, on a slightly bit of good news, I have, um, an, and as you can see, I have terrible gray hair. And so I have made myself an appointment with Rhonda. This, this afternoon, so I always feel good after I leave the salon, and in addition to that, I'm going to go ahead and walk next door and get my toes done, because that always makes me feel good, too. So, hopefully, I'll feel way better here in just a few hours. Um, I am overwhelmed, and I feel so loved by many, because I received um, so many phone calls, and so many comments, and so many posts, and text messages and inbox messages when I requested prayers. And let me just tell you, I am a believer and God is good because I asked my friends for prayers and I received so many. And within an hour and a half, my prayers were answered. And so for that, I am forever grateful to all of you who are following this journey.